Welcome to Ron Wells Money Matters. Be aware of your strengths and weaknesses in a business endeavor. Now, this is very important. This is very important because if you get into any business, you got to be aware of your strengths. You have to be aware of your weaknesses. Now, your strengths, that's obvious. That's obvious. Like, say, hypothetically, you want to start a brick and mortar somewhere and you're good with all the technical stuff, right? You, you're good with all the technical stuff. You, you've done the research, you ask the questions, you got whatever product that you're going to sell, right? But your weakness is customer service. Now, there's two things you could do with that. Being aware of that weakness, you could either work on your customer service or you could have, you could hire somebody who is more bubbly, more outgoing. And there's actually plenty of businesses that are do that. They'll have the owner and the owner will just be around, but then they'll have somebody else to really interact with people. All right. You will need to know your strengths and weaknesses in order to succeed in a business because it's not your strengths that's going to hurt you. It's your weaknesses. It's your weaknesses. I had mentioned before uh, several times uh, there was uh, this shoe repair guy. And he could really, he could really work on shoes, but his customer service sucked. He ended up selling the place to someone else who I believe had better customer service. That's very important. You, you, have, to, you have to know what you can do, what you can't do. That's very important. It, it ain't no ifs, ands, and buts about it. You have to know. And so you have to be, you have to know what it is. And, you know, I'm going to tell you what, that's part of the questions. You remember yesterday I was talking about the questions and the research you need to do. You need to ask yourself, you need to look in the mirror. Can I do this business? You know, and then, OK, what can I do? Good. Like get out of get out a notepad or something. Get out a notepad. You know, I know some of the younger people, they might just get out their phone. Hey, whatever, whatever you use, write down what your strengths are. Okay, then you know what you, you can do. All right, what, before you even go to the next part, figure out how you can improve your strengths. That's part of the questions research. What can you do? What kind of education can you get? You know, no matter where you are, you can always do better. All right, that's one thing. But then you want to get into the next part, which is your weaknesses, because your weaknesses, that is what can hurt you in business. Most businesses fail. Let me say that again. Most businesses fail and they fail not because the person didn't have strengths. The person obviously had strengths to want to get into the business, but because of the weaknesses, the weaknesses. So you want to you want to think about that. You want to work on it. What can you do? What can you do? Uh, do you need to get education? Do you need to get a person? Do whatever that you can to shore that up. And you need to be and you need to know it. Don't just jump into a business. See, there's plenty of people that jump into a business. They ain't even sure what their strengths are or their weaknesses. They'll just jump into it. Hence why they have failed. Most it's, we have to be honest. Most businesses will fail. There's plenty of businesses that fail, plenty of people. Y'all probably know some people that jumped into some stuff. Shoot, even Big Rom has tried some things and it didn't really work because I was like, eh, okay. And But you know what I did? Even when I failed, I said, okay. I looked at my weaknesses. Now I'm in a better position now. I looked at my weaknesses. See, and you need to be aware of it. You need to be aware of yourself, you know, and, and I'm going to just say this. And it really goes along with what I'm talking about today. You don't want to get into a business just because you think it make money. You might not have a strength in that particular business. I don't care how much money it made. And there's plenty of businesses out there that make a lot of money. You don't have a strength in it. Like, I'm not a tech guy. I am not a tech guy. So I ain't going to get into a tech business, at least now, at least now. I don't have a strength or a weakness in it. You know, I'm just not there. But what I can do, 
What I can do if I develop an interest, I can ask many questions and do many research. I can learn it and develop a strength in it, you know, develop knowledge of it. That is how you want to do it. You want to do it in that way. So that's that's the thing that you want to understand. All right. So, you know, that that's the thing. But you want to, you want to. Because when you get into business, think about, I want you to think about something. You get into a business, not because you necessarily, I mean, one of the things, of course, is you love it. But that's not the only thing. Let's just be real. You want to make money. You want to make money. You want to keep making money. You want to make that money so you can buy things. So you can, you can get that nice home, car, you know, lifestyle and all of that. You can't just be jumping in willy-nilly. This is very important. You know, money isn't everything, but it's up there with oxygen. And you can't just jump into a business like it just willy-nilly and doing something and putting out some money, probably putting out your savings that, you know, since you've been listening to Uncle Rom, you saving it to save up for your business. You don't want to waste that money. So you need to know what your strengths are. Okay, what can you do in the business? That's the main thing, that's the first thing. But then your weaknesses, you know, you don't want that kryptonite stopping you. You, you don't want that. You wanna see what you can do in that business that you can do to make money. Very, very important. Very important, all right? So that, that's the thing, you wanna do that so um, I'm going to tell you what, though. I'm going to tell you what. Um, always know yourself. Always know yourself. Always know what you can and can't do. And then, and, you know, like I say, when I talk about one thing in one video, it always connects to the next video or another video, even if it ain't the one right afterwards. You want to ask the questions. You want to do the research. You want to see it. You want to first see if you're actually good at that business or something that you even have an interest in and then see, well, okay, where the problems are. See where the problems are and then work on that problem before it becomes a major problem. You want to do that. So, I mean, it's very important, all right? Very, very important. It's something that you want to do in everything, okay? So be aware of your strengths. Be aware of your weaknesses. When you're jumping into that business, you wanna know what you can and cannot do, all right? So anyway, that's all I have for this one. Y'all know the deal. Let's go make that money.